Hello everybody and uh, Merry Christmas time. We are getting close. It's my favorite day of the year. Can't wait. Uh, most of my shopping's done for my family. I've still got a couple more things to fill in, some kinks, but uh, just about everything is good to go here uh, in Virginia. Uh, I thought I would go ahead, I haven't done this video before, and rank my uh, top 10 favorite Christmas albums. Uh, now, with Christmas music, it's different because, you know, you hear so many individual songs on the radio growing up that, you know, you don't associate them with an album. And, you know, a lot of the albums that I listen to, um, I relate to, you know, my parents and uh, grandparents, just what we listen to on Christmas morning, opening up the presents and that sort of thing. Um, and the older I get, you know, a lot of these albums are ones that I've just come to really appreciate just in the last five or six years in terms of an album's worth of material versus, you know, an occasional, uh, you know, Bing Crosby song on the radio and then an Andy Williams or uh, a Frank Sinatra. So these, this is what I'm ranking. My criteria is based on as an album, how do these records flow and, um, you know, how, how do I, how do I enjoy them? So without further ado, let's jump right in. Number 10, a lot of people might say it's their favorite Christmas album. Um, and I can understand why, uh, it's the Phil Spector, a Christmas gift for you. Probably the number one uh, rock and pop uh, Christmas album of all time. I would definitely um, confer with that. Um, probably the reason I've got it at number 10 is just because um, I've known all these songs individually for so long, with the exception of a couple that they don't play on the radio ever, like Bobby Sox and the Blue Jeans. Um, but most of these songs are still played pretty heavily on uh, Christmas stations across the country. So, you know, there is the fatigue factor, but as a full album, it's fantastic. You've got Darlene Love, The Ronettes, uh, The Crystals, Bobby Sox. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's just it's just a really you know fantastic wall of sound. Obviously, you know, the Phil Spector um, sounds and you can definitely hear, um, you know, it's just I mean, it, it's just that prime mid 60s uh, production. So Christmas gift for you. Phil Spector, various artists. Number nine, this is White Christmas by Bing Crosby. Now, this isn't necessarily, a, this isn't a real album, as it were, though this is probably the most common Bing Crosby Christmas uh, compilation that you'll find at any of your stores. You can get it, you know, record stores, Barnes & Noble, wherever. Um, it compiles 12 tracks that Bing recorded over, you know, some of the um, the earlier days of his career. Uh, I mean, you know, the, the songs in this are played everywhere. Silent Night, Adeste Fidelis, White Christmas, God Rest Your Merry Gentlemen, Faith of Our Fathers, I'll Be Home for Christmas, Jingle Bells with the Andrews Sisters, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Um, and I should say that version of Jingle Bells could be my favorite, um, though I will tell you what my favorite version of Jingle Bells is on the uh, first album on my list. Uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town with the Andrews Sisters, Silver Bells with Carol Richards, Getting to Look a Lot Like Christmas, Christmas in Killarney, very fun song. And then, of course, with the Andrews sisters, Mele Kaliki Maka to close it off. So White Christmas, Bing Crosby, number nine. Uh, number eight, uh, this is uh, the Beach Boys Christmas album, Brian Wilson's attempt to, um, you know, Phil Spector an album, essentially. This, this is really when Brian was really starting to come into his own production-wise. Um, the first half of this album is uh, Originals. Um, and then they bump into, uh, Christmas classics and there's a lot of string arrangements on here. Um, the wrecking crew is also on here, the studio musicians from Capitol records. Um, of course, you know, the big hit off here was little St. Nick, but you know, they also had a moderate hit with the man with all the toys. Um, Merry Christmas baby, which is the first Al Jardine led, uh, vocal, uh, then, you know, Santa Claus is coming to town with like the cool, weird circus noise. The bum, 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 nah, 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 nah. Um, and then at the end, they do Auld Lang Syne with Dennis Wilson giving a Christmas greeting a la Phil Spector on their version of Silent Night on um, this album. This album, Phil Spector ends it by the spoken word, just like uh, Brian Wilson does on this album with his brother Dennis, I should say. Uh, number seven. John Denver, A Rocky Mountain Christmas. Uh, of course, John Denver, uh, singer-songwriter, mostly um, prevalent in the 70s, though he started back in the 60s and was making pretty um, solid records up until his death in 1997, I believe. 
Um, this was originally released in 1975. Um, you have the beautiful song Aspen Glow to start it off. Very Colorado winter sound. Um, you know, he does, again, Christmas standards, the Christmas song, Rudolph, Silver Bells, um, Away in a Manger, What Child Is This, Oh Holy Night, Silent Night. But he also does some great tunes um, like Please Daddy, Don't Get Drunk This Christmas, which a lot of people um, look down on. But um, that song, if you really listen to the lyrics, it's actually quite a sad song um, about, you know, kids whose, whose parents struggle with alcoholism and, um, you know, just, just wanting one day of the year to have, you know, a, a normal family get together. So that's how I look at that song. Um, my favorite song on the album, Christmas for Cowboys. It's just about, you know, the cowboys that, um, you know, they're not in the city for Christmas. They're not with their families. They're sleeping out in the prairie and their sleeping bags. Their Christmas lights are the stars up above and that sort of thing. Um, so that's a pretty, pretty cool song. Uh, Coventry Carol, he does a beautiful version. He does um, A Baby Just Like You, which is, um, I'm guessing it's dedicated to his adopted son, Zachary. Um, so, yeah. Rocky Mountain Christmas, John Denver, number seven. Number six, this is going to be a little surprise to people that know this album, but I love this album. A lot of people hate it, and I can understand why. Christmas in the Heart, Bob Dylan. Um, this was in 2009. This was a surprise album that Bob Dylan um, put out. Um, I believe the proceeds went to Feeding America, um, the charity. And I think they all still go to Feeding America. But it's Bob Dylan doing a Christmas song. He had already released um, Together Through Life earlier that year. And then this just came out a few years later. Um, so it's funny because, you know, Dylan went through his Christian period in the late 70s. And, um, you know, was raised and, you know, born a, a, a Jewish man. And so for him to do Christmas songs, again, it kind of harkens back to that uh, era of, um, you know, the Dylan... Uh, gospel period. Um, the best song on this is his version of Must Be Santa with the accordion, um, which I know he took the arrangement. Well, he used the arrangement of another um, group, but he does all the, again, all the Christmas songs. I'm not going to keep repeating the same songs. I mean, um, some of the more deeper Christmas songs on here are he does Christmas Island and then the Christmas Blues as well as Must Be Santa um, and then a bunch of other, you know, standard Christmas tracks, which you can probably see there. So Christmas in the Heart, Bob Dylan is number five. Uh, number four. No, is that right? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. This is number five. I'm sorry. Ella Fitzgerald. Ella wishes you a swinging Christmas. This is a great album, a great swing um, music. It's, you know, classic Ella Fitzgerald, which I think she recorded this when she was in her 60s, but her voice sounds very young. Um, just had a killer voice, Ella Fitzgerald. Um, so I can't recommend it enough. If you like jazz, if you like uh, swing music, check this out. Ella wishes you a swinging Christmas. Uh, number four, um, probably the one of the biggest Christmas albums of all time, um, especially from the modern era, Christmas by Michael Buble. Um, say what you will about Michael Buble. Um, he is a crooner, you know, he harkens back to Dean Martin, Andy Williams, Frank Sinatra, um, Canadian guy. And um, I, I love Michael Bublé. I think he's got a fantastic voice. And this album flows very well together. He does a great version of um, um, Christmas Baby, Please Come Home. He does um, an original called Cold December Night, which I absolutely love as well. Um, he does a version of um, Jingle Bells a la... Bing Crosby and the Andrews Sisters. So um, I know y'all have heard this album in department stores and on the radio, Christmas, Michael Buble. Number three, uh, I just recently talked about this on uh, another video where I talked about um, great rock Christmas albums. Socks by J.D. McPherson. Again, like I've said before, Rockabilly, all original songs, really well written, great singing, great um, instrumentation, electric guitar, stand-up basses. Um, Sounds like a sounds like it's from the fifties, but it came from two thousand eighteen. So that's number three. Love it. Number two. Uh, this album is probably the oldest um, memory of an album that I have uh, in my lifetime. I would say, and that is the Sinatra Christmas album, um, 
this album reminds me so much of my mom and dad. And, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Frank Sinatra doing the Christmas songs, but he does that version of Jingle Bells, which again, top three version of Jingle Bells, I would say. Um, the first one being from, um, uh, I just mentioned it. Where is it from? Uh, Bing Crosby. Uh, that was probably number three. This is number two version where he sings, I love those J-I and G-L-E bells. Um, fantastic. Beautiful singing. The first Noel. Uh, the Christmas Waltz, which I associate as Frank Sinatra's song. Um, orchestration by Gordon Jenkins. Um, and then there's a couple of bonus tracks on here with a Nelson Riddle orchestration. So, um, yeah, absolutely love this album. It's what I think of when I'm opening presents Christmas morning. And if anybody followed my 100 favorite albums of all time, this album was number 10 on that list. And of course, it's my number one favorite Christmas album. It's Christmas Card by the Statler Brothers. Um, vocal quartet, gospel quartet, country quartet, whatever you want to say, from Stanton, Virginia. Um, which is in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. Of course, the Statlers used to back Johnny Cash in the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, broke out, had a massive career of their own. Um, I think they're still the most awarded country group in history. Beautiful uh, versions of the old standards, but also some great um, originals, like I Believe in Santa's Cause. Um, I Never Spend a Christmas That I Don't Think of You. Christmas to Me. Not the Stevie Wonder song. Um, who do you think, you know, who do you think could believe such a thing, could believe that the story's true? Who do you think could believe such a thing? Here's hoping to heaven you do. Um, and then the great line um, um, of they always knew men went to heaven, but now God had come to earth. Just that sums up the spirit of Christmas to me. Um, they have a, another song on here called Something You Can't Buy. Beautiful song. And they do a great um song called The Carols Those Kids Used to Sing. And they have a beautiful medley at the end where all four members take lead on um, Silent Night. And then they do um, Oh Holy Night, the first Noel, it came upon a midnight clear. And then they all come back in together for another reprise of the last verse of Silent Night. So there you go. That's my top 10 favorite Christmas albums. Let me know what some of your favorites are. And uh, I look forward to talking to y'all in the comments. Uh, in the meantime, y'all be good. Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, happy holidays to those of y'all that um, don't celebrate Christmas and, uh, yeah, I look forward to talking to y'all be good. Take care. Talk to y'all soon. Bye now.